In the last few weeks, my video on what I think Fallout 5 needs has become one of my most viewed videos on my channel. And I've gotten a lot of great ideas from you guys in the comments. And the most frequently discussed thing I hear from you guys in the comments is where you want the next Fallout to be. I've heard London, Antarctica, China, Canada, Italy, Mexico, all great suggestions, but I think Fallout needs to stay in America. Now, I'm not American. I'm not claiming some patriotic bias over keeping Fallout in the States. But America is the core of what Fallout is. Being both a social commentary and a parody on American history and values. Now sign me up for DLC that sends me to Mexico or Canada or Antarctica or Italy. These would all be great places to visit. But the setting that the core game takes place in has to be America. Now you guys have let me know in the comments that a lot of you really liked Boston. And that's great. I can admit I don't have a great knowledge of the American history behind Boston, but with that being said, I'm sure everyone around the world is familiar with the history and legacy of Washington DC. I'm sure everyone around the world have heard of the glory and glamour of Las Vegas, but I'm not sure I can say the same for everyone around the world knowing the deep roots Boston has in America. And it's funny, I was writing this script and then I got a comment and this guy says it best right here. So it's pinned on that video right now. But he, he said it in a way that I could figure out how to say it. But there it is. But besides this, it made me analyze why Boston didn't sit well with me compared to D.C. or Las Vegas. And I think I figured it out. Corruption. When you look at Washington, D.C., you see the home of the U.S. government, a government many see as secretive, crooked, and flawed. You went into the Capitol Wasteland with an anticipation of what weird and wacky fallout twist Bethesda could bring. Same thing with Vegas. Las Vegas has had a long history of underworld crime, murder, and fixing the odds. That, on top of the spectacle of Vegas, made the Mojave so perfect for a Fallout game. Now, for me, Boston didn't have that element of mystique or corruption. Now, to my knowledge, the big landmark, MIT, just doesn't carry the same questionable history as the government buildings of DC or the Strip of Las Vegas. Now, I also had a lot of suggestions for US locations. Iowa. LA, Arizona, Yellowstone, Florida, Chicago, Alabama, Minnesota, New Orleans, just to name a few. For me, Chicago and New Orleans really stand out. Chicago could introduce you to a vast underground crime ring akin to the mob families of the late 1900s. New Orleans could introduce you to a much more mystical take in the Fallout universe, with Mardi Gras celebrations and voodoo in the occult. But ultimately, I have a proposition. Red Dead Redemption 2 had us explore the entirety of the United States. Death Stranding had us cross the entirety of the United States. Fallout 5 should do the same. Now, there's immediately problems with this idea. Number one, how can you include all 50 states and have them be substantial? And two, how can you make an area of that size interesting? Addressing the first issue, the very lore helps us here. The US was nuked. A lot of main cities were brought to complete rubble. That gives Bethesda the opportunity to limit the main cities that you can interact with and make them special. We could also see them take the the outer worlds approach. Have smaller open worlds that you need to travel to. The Outer Worlds could realistically be one map with all its locations being in the same game space. But the choice to put it in space and have these areas become entire planets, it makes the game world seem much, much larger. A trick that could benefit Fallout 5. Now, this approach would break up the seamlessness of it all. The act of literally walking from one side of the map to the other. But with next generation consoles right around the corner, I'm sure this idea of a full, engaging map of the US could be possible. Now, regarding my second issue, 
Both Red Dead Redemption 2 and Death Stranding struggled to fill such a vast area with meaningful and engaging moment-to-moment -moment gameplay. Red Dead Redemption 2 did much more with its open world to keep you interested with random encounters, hunting, side quests, and minigames. But even with all this, the act of moving from one location to another location often felt like wasted time. Death Stranding struggled much more with this concept, but one thing it did much better than Red Dead was continuously introduce new methods of transportation that made the act of moving from one location to another location much quicker. And enjoyable, I just want to throw that out there too, zip lining, come on. Now the biggest problem with my suggestion of having the next Fallout title include the entire landmass of the United States is the downtime of travel. Bethesda have always been great with environmental storytelling, but stumbling upon a small scene every now and then won't solve this issue. To sum up this video, I want to see the next Fallout title take you to multiple US locations across the entire landmass of America. Now let's just use the Outer Worlds as an example. The Outer Worlds has you traverse to 11 locations throughout space, being planets or ships or moons. Now, using that same model, that could give us 11 US cities to visit. Not to mention the multiple areas you could visit per planet. With the power of next generation technology and a reputation to regain and a brand to repair, I hope Bethesda can produce something incredible. I assume we won't see another Fallout game till both Starfield and the next Elder Scrolls come out. I hope that by then Bethesda have earned back some of their good graces, that they focus on quality over profit and deliver us another genre-defining game.